Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there with regard to equity futures. You've got the S&P futures up 14, NASDAQ up 91, Dow's up 6, Russell is up uh, 6 points. We're expecting and anticipating some kind of uh, early morning retracement out here uh, with regard to the equity futures. Um, you want to watch their five-hour time frame charts, uh, ES, the NQ, and the YM. Both have, all three of those have have uh, TD9 count topping signals out there. Uh, overnight in Asia, it was a mixed bag out there. You had the Shanghai and the Hang Seng up 25 and 2% respectively. Nikkei down a quarter percent or 99 points. The FTSE is off for right now. The DAX is at its session highs, very close to it, up uh, 275. Watch where that closes at 11 a.m. If it closes up towards its session high, so too should the NDX 100. It's a guideline. And uh, the metals market, you've got gold up 15, silver up 35. Copper's up 15 pennies. Natural gas is off 5 cents. And the light crew down 47 pennies out there. U.S. dollar index is off 555 ticks. The euro may have bottomed, or at least is going to get a counter trend rally. So we should see a little bit more weakness inside of the U.S. dollar index. In fact, let's take a look at Stevie's nine panel market update chart. The S Mini is on its way up to the uh, 6012 level. That's its 1 to 1 A to B equals CD pattern. That's especially the case with the Spot VIX index trading below the 50 day exponents moving average. The NQ is going to go target the 21261 level. The U.S. dollar index, as I had mentioned, the uh, euro had gotten back on a weekly basis to a key level of support. That so far is Held. So that's starting to rally. That's putting weakness inside the U.S. dollar index. Watch the 104.26 level, price close above that. Then we start getting to 103.82 and maybe even 103.54. Gold has found a bottom or appears to have found a bottom as price got back to its breakout level. It's now back above uh, the center of its buy zone out there, so likely to rally further. I would think this is going to rally up towards really the at least the bottom of its profile, that 27.30 level. Silver also likely having formed a bottom. Getting right back to its TD9 count breakout level. Its upside target is 3301. Uh, light speed crude. Uh, it needs to, it's, it's struggling at the buy zone area between 7302 and 7536 out there. If we take a look at natural gas consolidating with inside its profile, its resistance or sell zone, 2808 to 2.86. And the 30 year treasury negated TD9 count bottoms. It needs a bullish reversal candle to suggest that maybe there's a bottom forming. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. And uh, have a, a terrific Thursday. Tune in tomorrow from 8 to 9. That's when I'm going to record the Trader's Ed Show. Take care, folks. Have a terrific Thursday.